welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Queenie Joy Steven Her guys. So, ayan guys, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang uh, live interview with the Mission of Verse 2019 Zuzi Bini. So, ito ay live interview ni Mission of Verse Philippines Rabia Mateo, Mission of Verse Malaysia uh, Francisca Lohong Jeans, and Mission of Verse Indonesia uh, Ayu Maulida. So, Sila ay mga Asian uh, candidates. So, let's watch this one first, guys. Hey guys, uh, panoorin muna natin ang live interview ni Miss Universe Philippines, Rabia Matillo. So, alright, and let's watch. Oh, Ay, there she is. is. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I, I just had like a five-hour nap yesterday. Girl during Lazada, so it's really hard to get, get slammed up during this moment. I know. Early I know. It's like a, such a busy time. You are in the States already, right? So good to see you. How have you been? How are you settling in and, and how's training going? Because I know you've been speaking a lot about training and getting ready for the pageant. How's that? Yes, yes. Um, Things are different now. Like, <laughs> I've been doing my Q&A training virtually. Um, yeah, but the good thing is, I'm with Sir Jonas Gafford. She's still on uh -huh. the Q&A training. So, it's like, okay, every day I wake up, around 7, I do my workout. And then after that, I need to do my hair and makeup on my oh. own. Oh and my goodness. That walk. Every day. That, that's my life. So I really what is what are you most excited about? What are you most, because I know you're speaking a lot about training and you're going to be doing a lot of things, but what are you most excited about for the competition? Well, I'm excited to meet the girls. Okay. Go the ladies. The it's, mm -hmm. it's a celebration of diversity. Other, other people, you know, mm -hmm. different backgrounds. We have different experiences. And we are there not just to compete and not just to bring home the crown, but we are there to celebrate who we are as women. Mm -hmm. And that is powerful message that we send to the world. Uh, I love that. I think that was my most favorite part as well. Um, coming from South Africa, which is a very diverse country on its own. I mean, we have our 11 official languages. We have our different cultures. And so it was just so exciting for me to be able to branch out and see, um, you know, about other countries and then about other cultures. So I think that was my most exciting part as well. And just remembering to have fun as well. I feel like maybe it's overrated and I keep saying it a lot. But I hope that you girls remember to have fun and, and to make friendships and bonds along the way as well. Um, but I think everyone else is so excited for you. I mean, the Filipino flags that are coming in are insane. Oh. The support, how has the support oh, been uh, from uh, your Filipino. fellow Filipinos? About Miss Universe. And I can really feel the love and the support that they have, even though I'm here in the U.S. And mm -hmm. It gives me the yeah. motivation. I'm really inspired to really do well in oh. because it's like this is my gift to them. This is like a hope to my yeah. gift, ever I'm going to win again. Absolutely. And I know like fans, um, pageantry, especially Miss Universe, is huge, 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 huge in the Philippines. Um, and I know a couple of people are uh, wanting to vote and there's so many different ways to vote. Um, do you want to tell them how they can vote with the... I've been looking for it here and their and their comment and wanting to post it on there, um, just to let people know how they can vote. Um, while I look for the comment, do you want to tell them how they can do that? Thank you so much, Zodi. You're welcome. If you are from the Philippines, all you need to do is to download the Lazada application. It's for free, and you can find um, from the Discover um, area. Uh, Miss Universe, you need to click that link and then you're going to see the profile of all of the candidates joining Miss Universe. And I hope, guys, you you vote for me. I really want to win this. I really want into the top 21 because there's a lot of Philippines here. And I really want to, to show you guys my gown. I, I want to show you guys my halabira walk. I call my walk halabira. It, it's for... Iloilo, Ilo, um, my, my province. I really want to 
bring the festivity and also um if you're not from the philippines um you can download the miss universe application and again it's it's the same routine you can also find my profile and please vote for me absolutely thank you so much ruby i'm gonna go on and let somebody else uh, uh come on i've been looking for the IT uh comment because that's where you can vote um uh, I can't, I can't find their comment. But thank you so much, Rabia, for uh, joining us today. It's been so lovely catching up with you. I wish you the best of luck um, on the 16th of May. Um, yeah, bring in all your Filipino fans. I see they are, they are so ready to be there and, and to support you. So congratulations on your journey and can't wait to see you on Once stage. Rosie, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So yan na guys, napanood na natin yung ano yung interview ni Miss Universe Philippines Rabia Mateo. And the question is, ano da yung ano ano da yung the most na ano na excitement niya sa ano sa pageant na ito, which is sabi nga ni Rabia, ay excited siya na mamit ang mga iba't ibang candidates dahil nga sa mga iba't ibang culture na ano na pwedeng maano ng mga mga kandidata, no di ba? So, at saka yung celebration na rin daw sa mga ano sa mga uh, women's powers. Ayun. So now guys, uh, panoorin natin ang live interview na rin ni Mission Universe Malaysia. So, here we go. So I know a lot of people. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi Zozi. How are you? Good. Hey, I want to say something to you. Sure, please. Molo Zozi. Ah! <laughs> Molo Unjani. <laughs> Thank you so much for learning that. How do I say hello in your language? Ah, hello. Um, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Yeah, apa kabar Malaysia? Apa kabar Malaysia? Kabar Malaysia. Yes. Hello. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Uh, before we continue with our conversation, I just want to remind people that they can uh, watch Miss Universe on the iQIYI app. So you can download that um, on your Play Store or on your iPhone, like just the normal way that you would download other apps. And you can be able to watch Miss Universe from the iQIYI app. Um, that's what I wanted to say on the pinned comment, but I can't find it. I know a lot of people want to know where to watch. There's so many ways to watch it. But um, IQI is definitely one of them and it's very, very effective. Um, but on to you, girl. How are you? What time is it in Malaysia? It looks like it's in the evening. Yes, it's like 9.15 p.m. right now. And wow. actually, I, I just got my dinner. So I straight away come here and, you know, just saying hi and joining your oh, live okay. session. Yeah. So lovely to see you. Um, I just I just asked Rabia from the Philippines what she was mostly looking yeah. forward to. And just love I love hearing those answers. What are you looking forward to um, as you're about to travel for for Miss Universe? I am so looking forward to meet all the girls and also the Miss Universe organization team because it's been such a long time with all the preparation and yeah. and what we done and it's such a long journey with the pandemic as well and it's like yeah. all ups and but that's the most interesting thing because you know despite the the challenging part you know we get through it and now we're here and we're so excited mm -hmm. and it's just it's going to be different because of the current situation mm -hmm. but I'm that the Miss Universe organization they managed to actually work on it and actually we can travel and finally meet and compete and um, as what Rabia said you know it's not just about competition but I'm so glad that we finally get to meet each other and listen to our mm -hmm. own journey and how we actually overcome all the obstacles and yeah. here we are yeah. I love that. Um, again, a lot of girls speak about training. What goes into, because I know a lot of people do different things. Some people will focus maybe more on their physical. Um, yeah. more pe some people will focus on, on their mental and their emotional. Um, uh, what kind of prepping have you been putting into your Miss Universe journey? I would say, I mean, there's all kinds of preparations, um, of course. <laughs> All about you know getting myself fit and also working on my Q and A's and also 
you know, preparing myself for the international stage as well with all the makeup, a few classes, and it's all about mentally and also physically. So yeah. that's the preparation that I've been doing and also get on the ground, meeting people and working on my advocacy. I started my own community work called Women Rise More Towards mm -hmm. Women Empowerment. And yeah, just working with different groups of people in different way as a whole because this yeah. year is a very different where we get into virtual more than to meet people due to the situation so it's nice to work with people online um, and to see people actually unite as one um, despite mm -hmm. not being able to contact like personally get in touch <laughs> nice to see everyone but to stay safe, to flatten yeah. the curve. Yeah. So and that's so interesting. It was so interesting for people who were crowned during this time, um, <laughs> time in the pandemic. Um, and I just wonder how you were able to navigate, um, you know, that. How were you able to get your, your head into, I'm going to be competing during a pandemic. Um, it's going to be virtual a lot of times. How did you, you know, get yourself there mentally? I'd say that for me, every challenges that we went through there's a reason for it and it kind of taught us to challenge ourselves and to go beyond our comfort zone so for any challenge that we face in life it's just part of our journey and that mm -hmm. makes our journey more beautiful and more meaningful and despite all the challenge that we face we can see that we can get through it when we have faith when we have hope and when we work together as one with different group of people, we just need to have faith um, mm. with people that we work with. Yeah, so mm. that's the thing that I learned to have faith and, and to trust the process and trust the people around me that I work with. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for joining me this morning or oh. your evening. Um, it was so lovely <laughs> chatting to you. I'm just going to jump on and chat to um, the last girl for today but thank you so much for making time after dinner because i know you're probably like i want to go to bed now it's been a long day <laughs> thank you so much and good luck for the competition on may 16th looking forward to meeting you looking forward to meet you too bye bye, bye. so yeah and looking forward to miss universe malaysia is to meet all the girls and then one thing is i like her answer because uh, she showcased her advocacy, what she's doing in Malaysia right now. And, yeah, ganun. Ang, ang ganda ng pagkaano niya kasi at least dito sa interview na ito ay naisabi niya kagad yung advocacy niya, yung ginagawa niya, and then, yan. Ang galing, no? Ang ganda ng pagkaano niya kagad. And now, guys, we're going to watch the live interview of Mission Universe. Mal uh, Indonesia, are you Mao Lida? So, uh, so here we go. Watch. I see some love is already coming in for Ayuma with a lot of Indonesian flags. Hi, Zosie. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Good morning, also from Houston. I just arrived yesterday and I just got really? like an hour sleeping. Because oh wow, you must jet lag. Yes, getting ready for the makeup and having this excited. It's <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Good to see you. How was your how are your travels? Um are you feeling jet lagged? Yes, I feel it because I woke up at three in the morning here in Houston and then mm -hmm. like I cannot sleep until five and then at six I have to do the makeup. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't even imagine. But this is the life you chose, girl. Um, are you excited? Yeah. What are you mostly looking forward to? I'm very interested to hear, um, you know, from different girls, like what's that one thing that they've been thinking about the whole year when they think about Miss Universe and finally meeting the girls? What are you looking forward to the most? Yes, I cannot wait to have the moment finally on the stage of the Miss Universe because mm. it is a dream come true since I was a kid. I want to stand on the stage and mm. it's really coming up very soon and I'm here already in the America and I'm like, oh my God, I can't mm. wait to represent my beautiful country and to let people know how beautiful yeah. Indonesian people also. 
and I, mm-hmm. I can't wait to see you too. At all oh, the then again, I've been wishing all the girls, you know, the best of luck. And people keep asking me, who's your favorite girl? Who do you want to win? And I'm like, if it was up to me, everyone would win. I would want all of them to win because I think all of you guys are just so fantastic and you represent your country so well and you all have different voices. Um, again, I'm speaking of preps and preparing for uh, Miss Universe, what have you prepped the most? Um, and what are you excited to show off? Because some people will say, I'm excited for, um, you know, the swimsuit side of the competition because I've been working hard on my body. Um, I know some girls will say, I love the evening um, a portion of it because they want to show off their gowns. And some people like the Q and A's. Like, what's your, what's your favorite one out of the three? The, my favorite one is for the fashion show because it's like okay. really showing how I work my whole life. It's my career also as a model, but now I am a beauty patient, like I need to show it. But the most important thing is the preparation I've been trying to. It's like the physical and then the mental also, especially women. Oh no, I... This year, the competition has Ramadan. So I'm doing the fasting. During the competition, also meeting all the girls, I need to, you know, mentally ready and the stamina also need to be ready because I will be fasting during the day until 8 p.m. every day. So mm. I think that's it's the most important part because in, the, in this Ramadan month, it is the month that we are as a human reflecting to ourselves, to our soul, within your inner side, to your God, but you still do your life and here I am representing my country. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, well, good luck. I wish you the best of luck for May 16th. Um, I know that all of you have been working hard and uh, finally it's going to show on stage. And I hope it is something fruitful that all of you are looking forward to. So um, can't wait to see you guys compete. Do you have any advice for me, Zosie, and all the girls? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you sneaking it in. Um, I think my biggest advice, again, I'm going to say it is to just uh, have fun and enjoy yourself. And it's it, it's not like an overrated answer. It's true because you all have worked so hard, firstly, by winning your national crowns um, and now by traveling and meeting all these amazing women. It's You've already done half the work. Um, so just try to be relaxed as much as possible because when you become so nervous, <laughs> It will show in your interviews, it will show in your walk. Um, so I think just trust in yourself and bet on yourself. Um, and I think my other advice that I would do is, I always tell people to imagine like a whole racetrack of, of horses who when they are running, they put on blinds on their eyes so that they are not distracted by what's happening on the outside That's and to just true. focus on what it's they're doing. Important. And so I think the biggest thing that happens to girls when they get to um, location is that we get distracted by a lot of outside noises, by a lot of maybe negative comments or, you know, sometimes people care too much and they want to give a lot of opinion and advices. And it's like, thank you, but I got this. I got this. So just focus on yourself and bet on yourself and you will do well. Um, and I hope that a lot of other contestants are listening to this advice as well. Must be. Thank you so much, Zuzi. Thank you. Don't Thank you for joining me. To download the application of IKE because you can see every daily activity for all the contestants Miss Universe 2020. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank, Thank you for reminding me. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, everyone. So, you know, guys, yung question ni Miss Universe Indonesia is a little bit mess. So, ako lang ba yung nakapansin, guys, na ano, na what is the most that she really prepared on sa uh, Q&A ba, sa evening gown ba, or sa swimsuit, or ano ba. But she's the most excited on passion shoe. Passion shoe. Fashion show by yung mission universe. <laughs> Fashion show by yung mission universe. So anyway, guys, I think maybe she's confused on the questions. And then after that, no yung mga preparation niya about her competition and mission universe national crown talaga. Ayan. And then one thing that I like Susie Bini is to give a, a very nice advice to all the girls and be enjoy enjoy love. I enjoy na lang talaga. So, 
uh, you win or you lose, at least you enjoy the moment that once in a lifetime lang mangyari sa mga katulad na nila ng mga ano mga babae. So, hindi lahat nabigyan ng opportunity na mak ano maka-join ng ganyang kalaking uh, prestigious competition. So, kaya ayan, just enjoy and relax and set your mind at ease and peace. Ayan, ganyan lang para huwag kang ma-stress sa labas ng mga ano, maraming mga ek-ek boretse na mga ano, mga fashion. So, ayan na guys, just put your comment below guys. Uh, what is your opinion about these three girls? A live interview of 2019 Mission of Rice Suzy Bini. So, ayan na guys, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and See you on my next vlog. Bye!